Meanwhile, businesses that rely on running water are looking at more losses. Rachel Hanley checked in with some of the folks who sling the city's drinks to see how they're adapting today. It started with some extra errands. Four gallons of water all the way down the street. I mean, it's just been, I'm hot. As the boil advisory drips toward its third day, places like Lafitte's Blacksmith Bar can't serve fountain drinks. It sent bartender Brian Booz to get cans. Coke, Diet Coke, Sprite, pineapple juice. But they weren't easy to find. With the entire East Bank of New Orleans under the advisory, hundreds of bars and restaurants all need the same thing. There was nothing. So it took me a little minute to literally get everything. And mixers haven't been the biggest struggle. That would be the ice. Right now, bars on the East Bank can't make it themselves. This is what we've been doing for, since yesterday. We've been dumping all the ice bins out. Owner Joseph Lachardi says Lafitte's has been getting its ice delivered from Chalmette. We run on ice, we got to shut our doors down. It's an inconvenience and more importantly, an extra cost. Some is slow for us and this kind of stuff don't help us out at all. Places offering another kind of fix are feeling it too. The main ingredient of coffee is water. Manager Nakisha Marshall says Nostalgia Cafe has had to limit its menu. Hot brew coffee isn't really an option for us right now because we that runs through the pipes. Don't want it to get in our coffee, don't want our people getting sick. She's also seen a slowdown over the past few days as people pick bottled drinks over fresh. More people are more hesitant to come in whenever there's boil water advisories. The city had expected the advisory to be over by Thursday afternoon. So now business owners are just hoping it'll be done as soon as possible. Everybody's getting ready for the Super Bowl and everybody's getting things and we just, everything's hitting us at one time. It's a frustration on their minds. This doesn't need to happen. As they get ready for another shift without clean running water. Rachel Handley, WWL Louisiana. Uh, some dentist offices are also impacted. They tell us they had to buy filtered water to use for procedures. With well, the water advisory still active for the entire East Bank, we are watching for word from the Sujan Water Board, and we, of course, will let you know as soon as anything changes. Look for updates on our website, our free smartphone app, as well as our social media pages.